Danielle Silva, and I am the current Miss Westico. Today, I will be reading you a story called The Pumpkin Patch Parable by Liz Curtis Higgs, illustrated by Nancy Munger. See that big red barn and those rolling green fields? That's where the farmer lives way out in the country. It's so far out, the streets don't even have stop signs. The farmer grows lots of different things in those fields. He grows tall green corn and big red tomatoes, long yellow squash and little green peas. People eat that stuff for dinner. The best vegetables the farmer grows are pumpkins. They start out as flat oval seeds, almost as big as raisins. One hot June day, soon after school let out, the farmer planted pumpkin seeds, just like he did every summer. The seeds disappeared into the ground in nice, neat rows and grew there in the dark all through the 4th of July. Early one morning, a tiny green shoot quietly poked its way out of the soil. Soon, a long green vine stretched across the ground. From that vine, little buds sprouted into wide green leaves. The leaves spread out flat to catch the August sun. Someday, those little green buds would turn into orange pumpkins. But not yet, the patient farmer waited and waited. So you have to be very patient while planting these. The pumpkins began to grow. How different they looked. Some were tall and lean, some were round and short. Some had lumps and bumps. All of them were pumpkins. October came at last. The sky was bright blue and the air was cooler. Every night it got dark earlier than it did the night before. It was time for the farmer to harvest his pumpkin crop. The farmer's many workers brought lots of ripe pumpkins in from the fields. Which one would he choose first? Hmm. The farmer picked up one large pumpkin, being very careful not to let it slip through his hands. Pumpkins are tough on the outside, but break into smithereens if you drop them. He washed off all the dirt, holding on tight. Next came the messy part. Pumpkins are full of dozens of seeds and lots of slimy pulp. The farmer had a special plan for his chosen pumpkin so the seeds and the slime had to go. What do you think he's gonna do with the pumpkin? Let's see. He slowly slid a large knife right into the center of the pumpkin. The pumpkin didn't make a sound because vegetables don't talk. If they did talk, the pumpkin might have said, ouch. Gently, the farmer cut a round hole in the top of the pumpkin and pulled on the stem. Squishy, stringy pulp waited for him inside. Yuck. So if you guessed if he was gonna carve the pumpkin, then you were right. The farmer pulled out all of that slimy pulp and wrapped it up in an old newspaper. 
Off to the compost pile it went, never to be seen again. Then something really exciting happened. The pumpkin got a new face. The farmer carved a triangle for each eye. Pumpkins have eyes that don't blink or turn away. They see everything. He neatly carved a little square for a nose and then a big wide smile. Look at the pumpkin. How cute. What happened next was wonderful. The farmer put a small white candle down inside the pumpkin and touched the wick with a flame. How that pumpkin glowed. As the sky grew darker, the pumpkin on the porch was shining brighter than ever. When people saw the smiling pumpkin, they smiled back. All the neighbors knew that, once again, the farmer had turned a simple pumpkin into a simply glorious sight. In the same way, God the Father offers his children the chance to be made new, full of joy and full of light, shining like stars in a dark world. What a beautiful story. Before you leave, let me tell you about the Halloween Decorative Door Contest that I am hosting. This contest begins today, October 1st, and will end on October 10th. You have until October 10th to submit a picture of you and your decorated door to the Miss Wessico page on Facebook. Remember to get super creative because you are competing against other participants. The winner will receive a special prize. Good luck, everyone. If you have any questions, feel free to message me on the Miss Wessico page. Bye.